Solar panels are covered in a light coating of snow, but I'm still pulling in about three amps right now, close to 100 watts. It's pretty impressive, 24 volt. I don't think the windshield wipers and my thing are really meant to do much for snow. <laughs> it's a little chilly. A few years ago, I stuck this Atwood, uh, it's a bilge fan. A bil uh, you stick it in a bilge of a boat, you know, before you start it and it circulates the air out of there. Um, but I put it in the heating duct for the propane furnace back towards the bedroom. The furnace is located at the front of the bus. And by the time the heat, the air coming out of the duct in the back, it had very low flow. So this was like a booster to boost that air through there. So we really got nice warm air coming in the back bedroom. So when I changed to that little diesel fired heater, I left this in the system, but now it was much closer to the diesel fired heater. Uh, is about four feet away. And if you ever think that those diesel heaters don't get put out a lot of hot air, it completely melted. It was, you know, that's hard plastic, it's deformed, the fan blades are all cattywampus and it was running. I heard the fan shut off and I thought, well, that's weird. I thought, well, maybe the fan burned up or something. Um, within just a few minutes, you know, I shut it down because the heater takes a while to cool down. And then the next time I went out and looked at it, this is what that fan looked like. So that's how hot it got in there. Um, it was hot enough to make the fan go out, seize the blades. Like I said, I heard it when it stopped because you could hear it. It was definitely not a quiet fan, uh, which we liked the noise when we were sleeping anyway. So that little diesel fired heater, again, this was beyond the, the heat. The heater came with like maybe three or four feet of hose. This was beyond that. Um, even this, uh, it's not duct tape, uh, Gorilla Tape has turned into like almost like a hard plastic here just from the heat. But uh, yeah, those little theater heaters get hot, so be careful what you put next to the duct work on them. That's how hot that got. Today I'm putting Lenny on a little bit of a diet. I'm going to hit the scales in a few days. I'm removing a bunch of stuff, you know, extra propane tanks since they're using that diesel fired heater now. We don't have to carry that as much propane with me. Uh, getting rid of just extra tools that I have like in triplicate. I'm going through some stuff. If I haven't used it on the interior of the bus for a year, we're going through all the cabinets and just clearing stuff out. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to get about 400 pounds of stuff off of them. I saved all that weight by getting rid of those lead acid batteries. But then of course I added the weight of all the solar panels, which I still think I'm ahead of the game. So we'll see. You know, we were 26,400 pounds the last time it was on the scale. So I'm real curious to see. Uh, I got the app on my phone for uh, the cat scales. And when we head out of town here in a few days, I'm going to stop at the cat scales and get it weighed. And we'll see where he's at.